Take a look at these fingers. What do you think? You might be thinking to yourself, disgusting fat sausage fingers. What do those have to do with PSVR2? I'm on a PSVR2 channel. Why are you showing me your disgusting fingers? Well, fingers are now relevant for PSVR2. Thanks to Sony showing off a little bit of finger tracking technology that they've cooked up for the PSVR2 headsets. Now, this information comes courtesy of a website called distritoxor.com and the author is Max Ledroom. So I'll have a link to that article in the description. It's in Spanish, but you can use your Google to translate that to English. And this article talks about an event that took place called SIGGRAPH Asia. I think if I'm saying that correctly, it's basically a technology conference type thing where big companies come together, they show off exciting new technologies. And what you may see from the video behind me, which I should have playing, hopefully, is that Sony have a cool little demo for the PSVR 2 where you're playing a game and you're controlling the game using solely your hands, no controllers. The camera is watching your fingers and it's responding in game. I'm just gonna read out some of the features from this article that were mentioned that were included in the demo. So it tracks both the position and the posture of the user's hands. The code for this technology is already included in the PS5 SDK, so that shit's ready to go if people want to use it, apparently. And by people, I mean developers, of course. This is key and maybe surprising. You do not need any additional devices or anything like that for this to work. This is purely software-based, so don't worry about spending any more money to get this to work. To get a little bit more technical, it performs manual tracking at low latency 60 frames per second and shows smooth hand movement whatever that means i'm assuming that just means it tracks well i guess i don't know and finally it can detect 12 different gestures so that means pinching grabbing fisting god knows what else you can do with your fingers i don't know what you people are like i bet you know i bet you've got so this is cool. Of course, if you have a Quest or maybe other headsets that, you know, I don't care about, they also have finger track and it's something that's not new to virtual reality headsets. It's been working quite well on Quest for quite some time. You can type on keyboards and stuff like that. So I don't know if this will be as advanced that you can track, you know, so well that you can type on a virtual keyboard. Remains to be seen. Also, this is early days. It's not even, you know, out in the wild yet. So they're probably in the very early stages of this. But hopefully in the new year or something like that, we start seeing Sony talk about this coming to PSVR 2. Maybe, and maybe I'm being too greedy here, but maybe they could release a game to show off this technology, a first party title, maybe a little bit of an Astrobot title or something like that where you're doing finger stuff. And again, it's difficult to talk about finger technology without sounding disgusting. But what this also means, and I think is maybe most important here, is that Sony are still doing things with PSVR 2 behind the scenes, at least some team is. They're still working on things, and this is promising. It's a positive development. It's not been abandoned. Like, if they really wanted to, you know, not care about it at all, they wouldn't bother with this technology. Unless this is something that maybe they're just testing now on PSVR 2, but they intend to put it into their other weird headset that they've got out there, which is more targeted towards you know, business or creativity and that kind of thing, maybe. But we'll know if it actually comes to PSVR 2, you know, and we get games that can use us, and obviously it'll be open to developers, and then they could, you know, God knows what they could do with it. The sky is the limit, really. Anyway, I gotta go now. I can go into my web browser, I can search for fingering videos, and I can learn more about fingering. And hopefully, I'll be able to talk about it more on the next episode of Touch and Tips, see what I learned in these videos. Uh, I'm sure it'll be enlightening. Anyway, that's it for this video. Before I go, let me thank my channel members whose names are on screen as I speak. They are the following. Muzz, No One Knows, Plank71 Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, P. Hawkins, Crumb, Edify Till I Die, Aced, Geza, Dead Eye Dan, Minus, and Mr. 777. Thank you very much for that support, lads. It is greatly appreciated. This is the end of the video, and I would appreciate it if you would go away now. Please leave me alone. Leave. Hit the exit button, or you could go to a different video that's on, like, around me, or I don't know if you're on a mobile device or in a TV or whatever, but go back, exit, escape, whatever. The video is over now. Leave me alone. I need some alone time. I don't need you watching me all the time. I need to go. I got my own life.
I have my own life to live. This has to stop. All right, just leave me alone. You've overstayed your welcome now, I think. And you're still here? It's just fucking rude now. <laughs>